Hey everybody, welcome back. So we owe you guys a couple of updates. Um, we've had a lot going on lately. And so we just want to make a real quick video here so that we can bring you guys some updates on those things. So I'll get right into it. Um, one thing recently, we mentioned that we were planning on getting another dog. Um, are we still doing that? Yeah, uh, that is definitely still in the plans. We already decided that that would be a great idea for us and the new dog. Um, last time we talked, we were just kind of, we had just decided and we were just starting to plan to raise some money or get, get those funds together. Um, those funds weren't necessarily needed to get a dog. Um, we've already had that savings. We wouldn't have decided to get one if we didn't, you know, have the means to take care of it. Of course we do. Um, but we just wanted to kind of save up and have like an extra spoil the dog fund, um, because that's really important too. So, you know, we, you know, we just emergencies and also just spoiling them. We like to get them fresh meat and cook them awesome meals and whatever, whatever they need and, and get them a backpack so they can go hiking with us. So just little things like that. Um, so yeah, we are, that's definitely in the plans. I mean, that's something that I love and it makes life awesome. I love having a dog and being able to have one in our life will be really awesome for it. So still in the plans. Um, in terms of, let's say, raising money for that whole cause, I didn't, didn't necessarily do anything special there. I didn't go over that great, whatever. Um, so in the meantime, I actually have been working on some stuff and I got another gig that I can do online. So I got some more online work to do, which is good. That's the good news. And we pretty much decided and planned that we would use that as like an extra dog fund so that we can get the dog and cover the cost of, you know, whatever it needs at the beginning, puppy shots, stuff like that, and just kind of a little spoil fund for it. Um, so that's, that's great. But then of course we didn't really anticipate the truck stuff coming up. So <laughs> yeah, that's how life goes, I guess. But uh, yeah, so the truck thing is still ongoing. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, we don't know that it's really going to be bad or good. We're not yeah. sure yet. Um, but it, it's going to probably cost us some money and it will eat into my funds that I just I was going to make on this online gig. Um, hopefully it won't deplete it. Uh, but whatever. We'll figure it out. But that's kind of what's going on there. So that will be something coming down the line in the future. Speaking of the truck, here's what's going on so far. This is not resolved yet, but we'll just give you an update since that's been a big thing going on. Yeah, you so know, kind of as you can hear, we're, we're in the city right now, which is so much <laughs> fun. Uh, so we drove in today and we've been calling dealerships trying to get in and pretty much all of them are like weeks out. So oh, yeah, we actually we tried we really, like, what uh, was it, like a week ago? Yeah, we couldn't get in for a couple yeah. weeks. So we ended up finally getting in today to like a little, little kind of mom and pops one and they finally got to look at it at least. And of course on the way here, the the stabila track light went off yeah, so we're like light. oh perfect so it, it drove fine and no issues at all and so anyways we got there and they looked at it and he found that the the rear right uh Analog sensor yeah. was ABS kind of sensor. kind of bad so and it was leaking oil or something like that on the brakes so he's like they figured there's something wrong with it so he took the sensor out and there was actually a piece of metal that was broke off of something and is sitting in there kind of messing with it. So it's something in the rear differential, which is obviously yeah. a very important part of the truck. So now we have to pretty much take it to a Chevy dealership and then see, well, they have to take the differential apart and see if something's like falling apart or something. Yeah, the guy but, made it sound like our rear differential is like falling apart, which is super, not, I don't know. I mean, that kind of scared me because we've been driving around on it. We already didn't want to drive around on it because, like we said before, the brakes locked up on us while we were driving. So, and yeah, it's it should be covered stupid. under warranty. So as long as it's covered under warranty, then we'll be good. But it's, it otherwise, be. it's supposed to be a really expensive fix if it uh, yeah. if it's something actually wrong with the differential. So yeah. sounds like it doesn't happen very much. But we got the lucky the lucky lottery ticket. So so yeah, we we'll, think it's supposed to be covered under warranty. But of course, the guy that we talked to sort of did this dance with us about like, well, maybe it will be, maybe it won't. So. Yeah. We'll see about that. I'll definitely have some, some fighting words on that because it should be. But, so it's kind of nerve wracking, I guess, there. Um, just, I'm, we'll get through it, but it sounds like yeah. just a pain in the butt for now. And 
yes, it has us stuck in the city, which I hate. Um, and we are like mid Arizona around the Phoenix area. And if anyone else is down there, you know, it's been like near a hundred degrees for the last two days. Today it was getting up close to a hundred. Yeah. yeah. I think it read 95. Um, so 95 degrees is hot and neither us nor the dogs like being in a hot city. Um, so super been, windy, which yeah, has been now it's windy. The two worst weather conditions that we don't like. Yeah. And the pop-up camper we've, uh, dealt with some wind and made it through. So the good news is the camper seems to deal with the wind. Okay. Um, but we, we are, um, and it's, we're supposed to get some pretty hefty winds tonight, I guess. So we'll see what happens. And yeah, one of the locals said we might be in a haboob warning. Yeah. So that might be coming well, through. So, and tomorrow's supposed to be windy all day long. Yeah. I think their haboobs usually happen later in the season, but that individual seemed to think that these were exactly like those conditions that they usually get. We'll see. Don't know. Whatever. We're just ready to get out of hot city. I know that. Now the temperatures are supposed to chill out, I think, starting tomorrow, but the wind's yeah. not windy tomorrow too. Yeah. We'll be at the dealership all day probably because obviously this is our yeah. home. Only bad side, I guess, about living in your vehicle is when you take your vehicle in, what else do you do? Yeah. Which for us means hanging out all day at the dealerships. <laughs> so maybe we can get some stuff uploaded to you guys um so in terms of anything else that's going on in terms of the channel here uh we will still get some content out as we can guys um we actually have a lot of projects and ideas that we've been conjuring up all kinds of stuff um it's just a matter of getting to it and, uh we might be maybe a little behind but maybe not maybe tomorrow we'll get some stuff up. i don't know we'll be working on it as we can um, we've got, I've been throwing together, I've been trying to film when I do different cooking at camp. And so we've got like a couple of recipes that we do at camp. You guys might like that. Uh, just some tips on like budget or things that make sense when you're on the road or camping or whatever. A lot of cool meals there, kind of our go-tos. So some stuff around like food at camp and stuff like that. Um, we also, we were recently going through some files, just backing some stuff up and we have a lot of old content that we actually never even got uploaded. So we were thinking maybe a little throwback Thursday type thing. Sure, just over the last three years, every once in a while, we'll put something up there, something, some behind the scenes footage that you guys have never seen. Mm -hmm. um, so that, and then also just more about our philosophy on life, and financing stuff on the road, and just our daily life stuff. So lots of good stuff. Um, we'll get to it as soon as possible. We just wanted to bring you guys that update since we have all this going on and yeah, that's it for now. We'll be in touch soon. Yep. <laughs> All Thanks right. for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.